Hello, I'm back again. This is Dave Sly with Sly Exotic Restorations, and we're on our Porsche 996, the early years. Uh, this is actually off a of 99 uh, convertible top uh, clamshell motor. Uh, I showed you how to actually replace this bolt and also replace this shaft. Uh, one of the things I didn't show you that I recognized was kind of important, and so I'm going through that now, is this is a potentiometer, which is basically a variable resistor, and it needs to be set at a certain position when the clamshell is all the way open. So the important thing is the service position on the clamshell, we'll come over here to the car, needs to be completely open. As you can see, I have it here. And if you want to look, uh, you could stand there and I will point over here. You can kind of look at the ends here and you'll notice that this bolt is way up at the top of that slot. And that's true on both ends of the convertible top. So you just pull it. You'll notice as I move it down the other way, which is a little hard right at the moment, um, it won't, it'll slide down this way. So we want to make sure that convertible top is completely locked open. Now, the potentiometer that's in here, as it turns, changes the resistance. And that's how it knows, the motor knows basically where it is. So when you replace the, that shaft and you put the new potentiometer on, you've got to make sure that this is adjusted at the right spot. Now you can set the potentiometer by just simply turning those little, uh, that little red uh, gear inside of it as you adjust the, um, or check the volt, uh, the resistance, which we're gonna do here in just a moment. But the other thing you can do since we've uh, made our special tool here is while I can't really easily turn this in here right now, you can see that it's kind of locked. It doesn't want to turn. If you push on this back of the shaft and pull it out, you'll see it turns easily. And that's the reason because we've disengaged this uh, internal part of the shaft from the actual gear set of the motor. In fact, you can see there's a gap there how it's uh, pulled out. Once I get that turned a little bit, you can see it pops in and now it's locked in. So unlocked, locked in. So if you're wanting to move it when it's in the car and you put your Allen wrench in here, you can kind of try to pull out on it a little bit you can see how I'm doing that here, and then you can turn it pretty easily and then pop it back in, make sure it snaps in uh, when you're done. So the point here is that this potentiometer has to be uh, reading 6.2 kilo ohms. How do we do that? Well, we get our voltmeter out here, our multi-tester, and we set it on ohms. We should have zero. I don't have anything connected here. Uh, we'll go ahead and touch these together, just test it out, and yeah, we're on zero. There's zero resistance, okay? So what we're after is the pins we're looking for. If you look at the plug here, this is uh, pin uh, three and pin five. And if you look on the back, what we're trying to do is to take the uh, blue and yellow and the red and black, okay? So, sorry, these two here. Three and five are the two we want connected to. So we'll put one in here, we'll put one in here, and if we look on our gauge, where are we at? Well, we're at 6.46. That's not really where we wanna be. So what I'm gonna do is kinda of set this down. Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna push in on this and I'm gonna dial it. And you can also as I mentioned, do this earlier and we'll dial it. I'm now 6.26 and I wanna be at 6.20. I'm gonna do one more. Went a little too far. I'm gonna go just one more notch this way. Make sure it snaps in. I'm at 6.16. Let's see if I can go one more over. Six point two six. So I'm pretty darn close. If I wanted to get even more close, what I could do is I could just take this shaft off here, which will do it in just a moment, and I can dial it in really close. I'm not exactly sure how much uh, I have to be. Remember, to take it off, we turn it to the right as though we were tightening it, which is actually gonna loosen it. We can take this pin off completely. Remember we pop this out by wiggling it, snaps in. There we got it popped out and there's the red gears that you can see in there. We can take our old shaft and dial this up, see if we can't get it a little bit closer to 6.2. Wrong way. Yeah. 
Okay, that's probably about as close as we're gonna get. I try just a little bit like that, see if that helps. There we go. Put it on, get it lined up, pop it in. Okay, snapped in. Once again, we're off a little bit, but you can see it's a little pretty sensitive. So I think if we're really close to that, it's about as close as I'm gonna get here. We are adjusted. So what we don't wanna do is to be too far off of that where the clamshell doesn't get the right position. So I'm locked in now on this, turn it back, we use the gear as our tensioner. One last check. Make sure we're back close against 6.2. 6.25 is about as close as we're going to get. We're going to leave it at that. So hopefully this helps. Put it on now. Take care.